Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an outlet haul. I've been really trying to not haul and like whether or not I actually make a video of it that I'm hauling, I'm still trying not to haul. I'm just that I just don't, I don't need to right now. Again, this is an outlet haul though. And one thing that I actually picked up during the 40% off Easter sale that is going to be included in this because I only picked up one thing. And so that one thing is this Gingham Love perfume. This box is so cute. I mean, it's adorable. I'm going to 100% keep that box. The packaging on this, I mean, itself is kind of cute. It's pretty simple, but it's not terrible. Definitely not the worst. I picked this up because I love the scent and I'm not so sure they're going to keep it around, especially with all the new ginghams that they've come out with. I don't know that they're going to keep this around, so I wanted to get this in my collection to have it. So this was my 40% off on Easter sale that they did, 40% off of everything. This was the one thing I picked up. I need to be a little bit honest here. Some of these things I did pick up solely because my three-year-old, almost three-year-old, he turns three next month, because of him wanting them. He got his own little haul, so I'm going to include it in this. Overall, he does really good when we go in stores, and he likes to smell the candles that we have, like, at home, that I have at home. So when we go in stores, he likes to pick them up and smell them, and he's very gentle with them. So I enjoy taking him to the stores, but he had picked out some pocket bags that he want. He just he just really wanted to bring them home. They were all 75% off, and I think they were like 50 cents, 49 cents or something like that. So these were what I ended up with. <laughs> He picked out a rose water and ivy. He also picked out a gingerbread bakery and a bright summer days. I don't know the scent on that one. And life is sweet, which is pink bubblegum. I'm not really a fan of rose water and ivy, but <laughs> these were the ones he wanted, so we just went with it. <laughs> okay, so I did pay full price for this. Probably one of the most silly things I've ever done, but for my kid, it is what it is. Yeah, we paid $19.99 for this. It's this shark soap holder. It has the little light up thing in the bottom, and he loved this. Bo absolutely adored this, and he just couldn't let it go once he saw it. He was, he was pretty set on having that also. I mean, I didn't really spend that much overall for like everything else, so. I could justify getting him this one thing. I should also say that aside from that soap holder, nothing that we ended up picking up was not on sale. I actually don't think I picked up anything that was 50% off. I'm pretty sure everything I got was 75% off or the six or eight dollar candles that they had. Yeah. <laughs> so on 75% off table, they had one option for car fragrance refill. It's this sweater weather one. I've used this one in the past. It's okay. I mean, I mean, I don't love it. I don't hate it. For fall, it's perfect, I have to say. And especially for the 75% off price, I was like, oh yeah, I'll get it. <laughs> Another thing that was 75% off were these fuzzy socks. They are the wishing you a warm holiday one from last, I think it was last Christmas, maybe the year before. I don't know. It, I, I picked these one. It came in the I don't know, but I know it came in the Christmas Purchase with Purchase box, and I did buy that. So I have already used a pair of these, and I mean, they only last so long after so many washes, you j they're just not as soft. They're just not as soft. So I needed a new pair, especially for 75% off. <laughs> Definitely worth it. Some more 75% off things that I had picked up were these single wick candles. The first one that I got was Pink Watermelon. The notes say juicy pink watermelon, sugared strawberry blossoms, and lime zest. This is from this year, and I don't really know why it was already at the outlet for 75%, but I'll totally take it. I'm not complaining about that. So the other single wick that I picked up is Under the Magnolia Tree. The notes say magnolia petals, lemon zest, and peach blossoms. Again, this is the new style of single wick in this year's packaging. <laughs> I'll take it for 75%. I like this scent. I have it in a wallflower. I'm not currently using very many wallflowers right now, but I do have this in a wallflower. I do like this scent. I actually have it in a couple of the three wicks. So when I saw this one for 75, I was like, okay, mine. <laughs> Those are the single wicks that I got. Yeah, I got the regular old mason jar style in the new one. So we'll see which one I like better, right? Probably, I don't know if I'll burn them this year, but we'll see. Okay, so I really don't have any shame in this one. <laughs> 
This is the fourth candle of this that I have picked up. It's the Caramel Cream Soda. The notes are Caramel Syrup, Bubbly Cream Soda, and Rich Vanilla. Yes, in my other outlet haul, I picked up three of them. This makes number four, and I'm not mad about it at all. This smells really good, and Andrew had been with me when we were at the outlet this time. Of course, my kids were with me, but Andrew was there also, and he had smelled this one, and he was like, yeah, I could do this one. I could do it. I mean, he also smelled the chocolate banana mudslide, and he was like, oh my god, no. And I was like, yeah, no. That's a definite pass for me, but I'll get another one of these if you like it. Like, totally. So, that makes the fourth one of the caramel cream soda in my collection. This next one is technically from this year, so 2023. I, like, printed on the bottom. But it was from the round of wintertime candles that they were. It's the cinnamon and clove bud. The notes say cinnamon leaf, clove bud, and ground nutmeg. I have never picked this one up. I don't know why. I think I've actually picked it up in a wallflower. And in the wallflower, I wasn't a fan of it, but I didn't mind it smelling it in the candle, so we're gonna run with it for next year. So the rest of the candles that I picked up are actually all like recent ones, but they were all $8. Oh yeah, the caramel cream soda was $6 and the Cinnamon and Clove Buds was $8, and so are the rest of these other ones I'm going to talk about. The first one I picked up is Citron and Tonic. The notes are Sparkling Citron Water, Juicy Lemon, and Fresh Juniper. I don't know that I've smelled this one in store before. Yeah, yesterday when I saw it on the $8 rack that they had, and when I smelled it, I was like, okay, this isn't overwhelming, but I can smell everything in it listed, so we'll give it a try. Another one I picked up is Sapphire Quartz. The notes are Quartz Waters, Radiant Woods, and Bright Bergamot. The packaging on this is really, really cute. I like, like the marbled aspect of it. It's cute. I don't think I have anything else in this collection. It's kind of, kind of like a cologne type of a scent. Andrew smelled it and he was like, you know, I could get behind that one. So we collectively agreed that we could both get behind this one, so that's how we ended up with Sapphire Quartz. <laughs> the last $8 candle that I picked up is this Vivid Emerald. The notes are Radiant Ivy, Sweet Jasmine, and Fresh Musk. Again, this one, I'm going to sound like a broken record. This one was one that Andrew had picked up. And he smelled it and he was like, you know, that's not really terrible. And honestly, again, this was one I had never smelled in store. I don't know why, for whatever reason, I had never smelled it before yesterday. When I smelled it, again, it was an inoffensive, not terrible one. And I was like, you know, okay. Another one, we came to the conclusion that we could both handle it. Super light. It's definitely lighter than the Sapphire Quartz, but I, I'm not mad about it. It just smells like clean and fresh and... It'll be okay. I like it. <laughs> Those are all the candles that I picked up. I feel like I got a good deal. I'm really trying to not participate in regular sales that they're doing right now. I don't need to. I'm not going through nearly enough product to be justifying buying things. Even what I purchased yesterday <laughs> didn't really need to. Probably shouldn't have, but I mean, it is what it is. In the future, I'm just trying to not go to the outlet. I had other reasons to go there, so that's why I ended up down there. But I am trying to not go there. With it being relatively close to me, I'm also trying to not go to the regular Bath & Body Works when I have the option to go to the outlet. So if I need to go, I need to go to the outlet, but I'm trying to just stay away. Not that any of that matters, but that's concluding my haul. <laughs> so I had heard initially on the internet a while ago that they were going to start phasing out outlets and like I haven't heard anything since then. I don't know, <laughs> I don't understand what is up with that, but we'll see. <laughs> Honestly, I hope they don't take it away because we live like 40 minutes from one and that's so freaking awesome. I am so excited about that. I don't want them to take it. I don't want them to take it, but <laughs> thank you so much for watching my Bath and Body Works outlet haul. I hope everybody has a great day. Until next time.